A North Jersey couple arrested and now facing weapons charges after police say one of them shot their dog six times with a BB gun. Monica Guy has the full story. Monica? Bill, police say Carly McBride and Keith Ropp took their dog Scout out into the woods of Mount Olive, New Jersey and shot him with a BB gun. Two of the BBs lodged in the dog's body, and when Scout didn't die, the couple took him to Flanders Veterinary Clinic. They said that um, they were hiking in the woods and that he was shot by somebody, um, that they did not know who shot him. But the staff didn't buy it. When the Mount Olive police showed up, Rob and McBride started talking. And cops say they confessed that they couldn't afford to keep Scout, and instead of taking him to an animal shelter, they decided to shoot him. The couple faced weapons charges because the BB gun they allegedly used is classified as a handgun. Now, Bill, the story does have a happy ending. Dr. Jesse Gasparo, who is also treating Scout, has made a special connection. Um, he just sort of started following me around the clinic. Um, we, we've, and sort of we just bonded. Uh, this is basically, he just hangs out with me and he sleeps under my desk. So, and it's just hard not to fall in love with him. He's such a sweet dog. So he has a forever home with you. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. While Scout recovers and settles into his new life, his former owners await a court date later this month. And I'm told, Bill, that they could face additional animal cruelty charges. Reporting for Chasing News, I'm Monica Guy. Bill? Thank you, Monica. Let's bring in our eight plus panel for tonight's show. We're joined by pop culture expert Lisa Durden. Good to see you, Lisa. Of course. <laughs> and former prosecutor and now defense attorney Bob Bianchi back with us. Uh, always good to see you guys on a Friday. Difficult story um, as a dog owner, you know, you hear this. Uh, what were your first thoughts when you heard this story? I mean, I am a rabid dog lover. And when I saw that the reason why these idiots were going to take the dog in the back and shoot it in the head with a BB gun, uh, the reason they gave was because they're poor, like I grew up impoverished. We had a dog named Ringo. Over time, he got cancer. We didn't take our dog in the backyard and shoot it in the head because we were poor. We called the ASPCA or something like that. They came and got the dog and they euthanized the dog. It's just that simple. Didn't cost anything. Not a dime. Not a Bob, dime. Let, let's look at this uh, as a prosecutor. How would you prosecute a case like this? You throw the book at them. I mean, they're going to do jail time. What do you think? Bill, I've actually prosecuted cases in this very county with animal cruelty. So when you look at the overall circumstances here, you look as a prosecutor at the reasons it was done. And in this one that they can't afford it, they could have given it to a shelter. Exactly. And as a prosecutor, I'd be looking at it like, I need to send a message that the answer to you not being able to afford your dog isn't that you shoot and kill it. I would sentence them to a dog kennel to clean poop for the next six months a, to a, a year. judge may very service. well do that. There not you go. Not a terrible idea. Yeah. Excellent All right. idea. All right, thank you guys.